All right, all right, what's happening, my kings, my Gs, and my gents? Today, I have another transformation for you. And honestly, I wasn't too sure how this was going to play out. This isn't an original design. I referenced this off of a picture from Google. First thing we're doing right now is going with our number two guard closed. All this is going to do is remove that bulk from the side so that way when we do go in with our trimmers we don't have to go through all that bulk you know we can see our lines makes it super super easy make sure to scoop out as well as you go to the top so right here i do have my white pencil uh this really does help me tremendously when doing my designs at the moment i don't do designs that often i'm trying to learn and that's why I have that pencil. And I know eventually I'm just not even gonna need that pencil. I could probably do that blindfolded. But this is why I post stuff like this. So y'all can see that a regular guy like me can really just grow. Grow just like you. Right over here, we have our trimmers. And all I'm doing is just going over the white pencil line that I did in the beginning also try to make sure that you kind of tap as well don't dig too deep at first at least you know you gotta be careful you gotta tap you gotta make really precise cuts because mind you this is a design you move that trimmer one way or the other and it's clip your design is gonna be a little bit chopped a little bit messed up right and honestly, at first, when I was looking at this, I I didn't know what to think. I didn't. I really didn't know what to think. I didn't know if I was gonna pull it off or not. But I was like, yo, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dead eyes do it because you know what? If I don't try, I'm never gonna know how to do it. I'm never gonna get better. And even if I do take away one thing from this, it's either I get better at designs, I get better at feeding, I get better at my shaving, or whatever, you know? Something has to come good out of this. Some good has to definitely come out of this, you know? And right here, all you're seeing throughout this whole video is me using the corner of my blades as well. Trying to create those curves, trying to create those sharp lines. And even though this isn't looking that crazy right now, it's all good. It's a, it's a, it's a rough outline. It's a little draft. Remember in school, teachers made you do a rough draft. This is my rough draft right here. All we're doing right now is adding a little bit of shaving gel. I prefer shaving gel because it's transparent and you can see where you're cutting. After that, we're just go, gonna go with our number four guard with our lever closed. We're just gonna do that all around the top of his head. Going with our razor, you wanna go really, really, really thin. Honestly, you could probably go however you want to go, but I did it then Still trying to get better at my designs and I want you to see My progression as well. So you could just be like damn a couple months ago. He couldn't even do this but you You're literally seeing it my growth in designs a Couple months from now who knows what I'll be doing, you know Please make sure to take your time You don't want to rush this part and then end up having a line way, way, way too big than the rest. It's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look like a big ass road in the middle of his head. You don't want that, G. You don't want that. Take your time with this. Take your time. Make sure to pull from where you're cutting. You see me pulling with my thumb, right? Right here, I got my number one guard. This is where my lever closed. And I'm just going around his head, dipping down a little bit in the back. And honestly, the reason why I ran this number one guard is because I really didn't know what I was doing. This is my first time kind of doing this. You know, I was kind of imagining it in my head how I wanted to go with this fade. What I ended up doing is going with my no guard and my open lever. I ended up bringing that all the way up to the same position I brought up that number one guard closed. Right? Over here on the cyber now, I'm going to go with my no, no guard closed. From there, you're going to see me move to my no guard halfway open. And I'm just trying to take that line out. I do play around with that lever a little bit. I went from my halfway open to my closed. So you see this still kind of a line over there. So I just went with my, my corners. That's all it is. Go with your corners. Play around with that lever. Try to get that line out. 
for this side, we're gonna go with our note guard, closed lever. And then you're just gonna wanna follow that first guy line on top parallel. I would say leave about like an inch or so in between. Same thing for this side. And then right there, you're just, you're just gonna go around the ear right below the corner of his shape up of his box you know sheesh sheesh yo this is the first time this happened to me and honestly i was like damn i didn't know my mom my clippers could do that so now that we got our guy line done we're gonna go with our no guard halfway open we're gonna go right underneath where we went with our no guard fully open and you're gonna see it's actually gonna like you know it's gonna soften that line up a little bit but what we really want to do is go with our no guard closed and that's when we go at that bottom line and you're gonna see it's gonna slowly disappear slowly disappear if you have to use your corners too just so you don't create a new line but I tend to use my full blade at times, so when I do that, I just always make sure to scoop and not to dig into his scalp. You don't want to dig into your client's scalp. You know how uncomfortable that is? If my barber did that, I would really start squaring up. No funny. Be like, damn, bro, why the fuck you keep jabbing into my, into my head? <laughs> Be gentle. Treat him how you treat your significant other, you know? Just be gentle. You feels? You feels me? But now that we got everything faded out, we're gonna go to that little, that little, that little space right there. What I ended up doing is going with my no guard open, and then I go with my no guard halfway open. Slightly lower than when I did with my no guard open. And then I go with my no guard closed. Every single time you lower your lever, you go down. Every single time you go down in the fade, you lower your lever. You feel me? Right here, I'm just creating that. I created a number one and a half guideline. And then from there, I'm just gonna go with my number one guard open to close. Mind you, as you go down, in the fade, you want to close your lever gradually. And you're going to see that line is going to start softening up. Make sure to scoop outwards. Please make sure to scoop outwards. You don't want to create a super hard line that you don't want to get out. I've been there. I've done that today, actually. And it's annoying when you could have just done that right from the beginning. And you don't have to worry about that. You know, take your time. Take your time, my G. Take your time. Right over here, I got my 0.5 guard on my 116th guard. Same exact steps. You're gonna go with your open, and then you're halfway open, and then you're closed. Every single time you go lower into that fade, down into the fade, you keep closing your lever. What also helps me break that line up is using my corners. You gotta play around with that. It's trial and error, trial and error. You're not gonna be able to get this that quick. It took me a minute. But you're just seeing how I'm playing with my lever. You know? Same thing for back here. It's the exact same steps. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm gonna dead ass keep it a buck with you. This cut is not the most perfect cut in terms of fade, in terms of design. I wouldn't say that at all. I'm looking back at this, I'm like, yo, damn, I could have done this better, I could have done this better. But you know what? That's the reason why we're filming. That's the reason why we track everything we do, why we record everything we do. So you see your own growth. You feel me? I went back on my phone from, like, I wanna say like a couple years ago. I wanna say like two years ago when I first started barbering. You're not gonna believe it, my G. You're not gonna believe it. I used to give my brother the Freddy Cougar line. <laughs> Yo, I used to mess his haircut up all the time. I, I ain't even gonna front. I feel, I feel, looking back at that now, I feel bad. I was like, shit. I thought I was okay, but look, I, I've gotten better. 
I'm not the best, but I've gotten better. You feel me? Just tracking your own growth really does help a lot. But I would definitely say that my brother's getting some fire cuts now. Compared to like when, two years ago, he's getting some pretty fire cuts right now. So I would say I'm, I'm all right, you know, I'm, I'm all right. You know, gotta, gotta stay humble. The back, all we're doing is just fading everything out how we would normally do on a normal skin fade. Right here, we don't wanna make it too light. So what I did is go with my two guard open. This is a kind of little cool part that I, I, I did based on the photo. I went with my no guard and I went with my open lever. Honestly, I look back at it and I was like, yo, this is actually kind of too dark to begin with. I started with my open lever because, you know, I wanted to be safe. But then I was like, yo, that's way too light. So you know what? I went with my no guard closed. And that's when I started hitting that bottom line. What my I envisioned in my mind was like it going from like skin to dark. And not even like in my mind either, but it was in the picture, you know? I, this is all for reference. And you're just watching me just like go step by step by step. Just making sure that bottom part of that arrow is really like completely skin as I can with the clippers and notice the top of the arrow I really didn't do anything I didn't like connect it I kind of like the fact that it was just like not connected that it's not a full arrow that it really just fades into the haircut and right here all I'm really just doing is reverse fading the same way we would reverse fade with I don't know with the side with the taper the same way we would reverse fade is the same way I'm doing it right here I'm just going guard by guard every time going lower in size but also make sure to use your corners guys please make sure to use your corners this is super super important you do not want to do all this work for it to start looking fire and then boom you got a big ass line like yo bro chill what you mean i got a big ass line yes you got a big ass line because you were impatient and you decided to just say fuck it i'm gonna just not use my corner i'm not gonna be patient i'm gonna rush this shit just be patient you'll appreciate it your clients will appreciate it as well and if you feel like you're not given enough time if you feel like you're rushed Please make sure to like give your people a proper wait time as well. Over here, all you saw me do was just hit that arrow up a little bit more with the trimmer, trying to get the edges as straight as I can. Doing our hugs, I'm starting off with a straight parallel line lining up his sideburn and then making that little hook with both my hands. I use both my hands because my hands are super, super shaky. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. My hands are shaky, so I use both hands. I know people that can do it with one hand, blindfolded, like hand, a foot tied behind their, their back, you know? It's crazy. Same thing with the hairline. You see me using two hands. Best thing I would say for this is definitely try to start from the middle and work your way outwards. Move his head towards your direction. Tilt him if you want. You feel me, my G? That way you get the best angle. And the client's not gonna care that you're moving his head. He just wants a sharp ass hairline, whatever it takes. Not whatever it takes. You feel me? Not whatever it takes, but in order to get that sharp hairline, they need to compensate as a client. Same thing for the other side. Same exact thing. You're just tapping and going, taking your time. You do not want to rush this either. This is probably a crucial I, I take a little bit of, of some time with the hairline With the shape up Just because I know it's a really important part of the haircut And you're gonna see in this video Like my fade might have not been the best But the shape up really did help out The design lines really did help out 
You feel me? Everything just played together and all it is is a matter of me getting a bit better and you getting better. As you're watching this, there's a reason why you're watching this. You want to get better. You want to know how to do this, how to do that. You probably want to see if I messed up. But I'm showing you exactly what I did in this video. Whether you think this haircut is fire, whether you think this haircut is ass, whether you're gonna wanna do it yourself, just because you kinda saw how I did and you wanna do it yourself, maybe do your own little way, but you got an idea of how to do it. I don't know. This is how I'm doing it. And I know y'all can benefit from this, benefit from this as well. But here all we're doing is just a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye. My G's, when you're doing designs, don't be afraid of using a little bit of paint. I'm not saying fucking use it to just change the whole haircut, but yo, use it to enhance the haircut and design. Don't use too much though. Do not use too much because it'll look really, really bad. Oh, I just hit tip. I just hit I just hit it a little bit just a little bit and then with my brush I just blended all that in brush that into the haircut look tip tip you see like I just literally tapped and tap tap you feel me you feel me like yo I didn't add that much B very very little and then I brushed it into the haircut yo you see how fire that started looking nah I'm cracked right now you're lying come on you see be patient a little bit of enhancement goes a long way and mind you if it's semi-permanent hair dye then it's gonna last like three to five days depending on how often this got showers or whatnot and whatnot you know and to truly make the bottom part of that arrow skin you saw me just go in there with my trimmers I saw a little bit on the back where his calic is that it was a little bit uneven so I just went in there with that number four again and for good measures I just went all around the head with the same guard. Just a little bit of inside of how I would end up doing the mustache and the beard and the razor if you really want a more detailed uh tutorial on how to do facial hair and eyebrows and how you would hold a razor handle please let me know in the comment section if you've been watching this so far thank you so much for watching the video i really do appreciate every single one of y'all and this has to be one of my favorite parts i tell y'all this every time this is my favorite part they just look so crazy they look they they just feel so full of confidence but you you know look at that look look he's digging the haircut he's really digging the haircut oh we're getting to that time we get into that time though we get to that time this is what my man's was looking like right before we gave him the haircut right he was looking you know he was looking like he was looking high nothing too crazy nothing too crazy but man way different way different Whew. i really hope y'all enjoyed the haircut i really hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me have a good day if you like the video make sure to share it comment subscribe till next time my kings